Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. I'm doing some T6 Abyss on my latest and greatest uh, fit for um, my T6 exotic runs. And now this is a bit of a deadly wave I just realized I encountered because there's so many starving Leshaks. So we're going to just have to be a bit careful right here. And I'm going to explain to you guys what was updated in the fit shortly after these guys have died. This is very hot right here. Look how many Leshaks there are. I'm going to get neutered out very quickly if they don't die fast. Okay, let's grab these guys. Good, good, good. You need to kill them super fast, these Leshaks. Okay, where the extraction nodes? We can go to this one node over here, actually, because it's uh, it's got the speed cloud here, so it'll make us have a very easy time to uh, grab it. Okay, let's get the my light missiles on this rogue drones over here. We can have my drone go on here. This Leshak over here. There we go. Now they're basically... Nothing really significant is left. The the it just makes me sweat a little bit when I see that there's so many starving Leshaks as you saw there, because uh, I wouldn't last at all long under new like uh, full new pressure is just too much. Even with two cam batteries, uh, I'll die pretty quickly. So let's just grab this extraction node over here. So the main thing I've changed with this fit now is that I'm optimizing it for loot. So I've got this heavy uh, missile launcher right here to be able to pop this cache right here. I used to have this a long time ago, but then I removed it because it had a bit more DPS with the rapid lights. But uh, I'm doing pretty well with uh, with the heavy missile launcher, so it's all right. And that DPS is higher just like when it comes to the burst DPS because rapid lights they have a very good burst DPS but when it comes to like the DPS over time then actually there's hardly any difference compared to the uh, the heavy missiles just because of how long reload time the uh, the rapid lights have I guess how I have augmented drone go over here and you can also see that I'm using augmented drones and the augmented drones they are a lot better on waves that have very low resistances. Now here, it was actually not. Uh, I'm. Not, I don't think the Leshax is particularly good to use the augmented drones. So I probably should have used the Tech Two drones. I just instinctively took out the highest DPS weaponry right there because I was a bit nervous when I saw those uh, starving Leshax. Uh, but the the augmented drones, I have them because they have a lot more DPS than the standard Tech Two drones. The only thing is the Tech Two drones. They have um, pure damage types. They do only kinetic damage and often that is favorable because you have minus 70% kinetic resistance in this uh, exotic site so you'll obviously want to do mostly kinetic resistance right but the thing is the the augmenters do have uh, more dps so it's a bit of a balance like uh, against the resistance or against the pure dps and i did a bit of a calculation and in certain spawns it's actually more favorable to use the uh, the augmented so there are two spawns that it's always better to use augmented like there's no exception uh, the dd waves so specifically the concord waves uh, not the edencom not the not the thunder child and not the stormbringer but the the concord like the marshals and the enforcers those and pacifiers like the concord type of ships they are it's always favorable to use your uh, augmented and you'll do more dps it's just got to do with the resistances and actually very low on the or uh, concord ships so this minus 70 percent here of kinetic resistance it doesn't impact it so much uh, the same goes for sleeper cruisers specifically Ephialtis cruisers uh, not the not the standard uh, not those watchmen lucid watchmen those guys only Ephialtis. so for example Ephialtis dissipator uh, Ephialtis, uh, Lancer, you know those guys. Uh, they have only 10% resistances, so it's very favorable to use the augmenters because they basically have no resistances. You could think of it like that. So uh, there are certain waves then, I can't remember them at the top of my head, I've got like a list of them, but there are certain waves that can be favorable to use augmented drones in the minus 50% kinetic resistance and then there are some waves where they're not uh, favorable to use the uh, augmented in the minus 70% resistance because you know when you've got the, okay wait, this is a wave here with um, the overmine, so what I want to do here is I want to just put my drone straight away on this guy, this is a strategy I've been using recently, just straight away the drones of this guy and rapid lights on the, on the small drones. Okay, so when it comes to uh, the like resistance is there sometimes you can get minus 50 percent sometimes you can get minus 70 percent kinetic resistance so if you have a minus uh, 50 percent then the as i said before like when you have a low resistance then you're gonna 
preferably want to use the augmenteds because their resistances won't play a big role in the like damage you do. The augmenteds they do th uh, kinetic, but they also do a little bit of thermal damage. So if that wasn't uh, uh, obvious, uh, the, there's like they do mixed damage type. So the the tech twos they do pure damage type, as I said before. So that's why. Uh, sorry, I maybe didn't explain that, but the augmenteds they got. If we go here. You can see that they've got a little bit of kinetic as well, but mainly uh, or a little bit of thermal but mainly uh, the kinetic so when you have like the npcs they have lower resistances across the board that won't really make a big difference what will make a difference in how fast you kill them is just your raw dps so that's why when it comes to like the minus 50 percent there are certain waves that is not going to be favorable to uh, you always it's going to be uh, favorable to use augmented because then uh, the kinetic resistance is going to be uh, a lot higher and then it's uh, sometimes it will be best to just use the tech 2 ones because uh, since their resistances will just be so low right, let's go for this buy adaptive cash over here and start shooting we could even have our have a heavy missile but we can't because of the fog cast or the, or the gaze dimmers who are sensor dampening me I can't lock up anything Ugh. there we go no I still can't but when it comes to the minus 50% uh, resistance it's like it makes everything naturally like a lot tankier. Yeah, they'll have more higher kinetic resistance and in those waves it'll it's, it'll like there's certain waves that will be good in those uh, cases and there's certain waves that will be in the minus 70% but the point is always augmented are supposed to be for the uh, uh the Ephialtis and the concord waves so that's just the rule of thumb i have uh there is the differences otherwise are so minute that they're essentially the same so i just generally speaking go for tech 2. okay we'll make our way towards this and then the second change i've got here is that i'm using a mobile tractor unit now i'm not a big fan of the mobile tractor units i don't like having an extra thing to think about and uh, I have occasionally forgotten them in my previous experiences with mobile tractor units. So it's very annoying when you know you lose 40 million isk on a mobile tractor unit just because you forget it. But I've been good at not forgetting them in my own so far. Uh, they are it, what I found to be the most confusing thing with using the mobile tractor units is like when to use it. Like when do I use it? When do I not use it? And some because in my experience has always been the case that they've been just a, a lot slower than the just going to them like we've been doing now and really what the strategy i've been using that seems to be working out is really um you can think of it like when you spawn over there anything that's like on the way towards the extraction or the the transfer node you want to go for those manually but then like say if there i don't know there was a cache over here or there was a cache over here like that's not on route from where we're going towards that then you'll want to then it'll usually be worth your time to place it down because it'll be a lot faster than having to like go there and then go back instead the mobile tractor unit just pulls it in directly and the mobile tractor unit pulls stuff in very fast at 1.2 kilometers a second we only go 700 meters a second but it's still worth like grabbing the caches that are on the way because you're anyway going to go towards the transfer conduit so that's why uh, it's usually worth it like here, I will go for this because if I go towards the, like the extraction, uh, or not the extraction, like the bike uh, adaptive cache and the gate, and then I have my, uh, my you know, mobile tractor unit pull in. This is going to have to travel. The mobile tractor unit is going to have to pull in stuff like was it like hundred kilometers maybe or something. I don't know how far this extraction node is away from the. Uh, by adaptive cash but it is pretty far away uh, so instead here i just make it little route back little travel back here that is probably all going to make the overall journey a lot quicker too um then again if there uh, if there was like for example um something over there like in the background like further away uh, like on the other side opposite of the uh, the a transfer conduit then i will just uh, right, grab this make my way towards there and then just plop the mobile track to unit down so that it pulls it straight away into the uh like into my uh, loot container or right near the gate so i can grab it up straight away because i have many times when i've been using the mobile track unit before it's just worked out to be slower like i'm just sitting there waiting oh, okay come on please grab the loot please grab the loot please grab the loot but it's uh it's just really a 
uh, sometimes it is just overall slow, a bit slower to use the mobile tractor unit and get a full clear. That's just the nature of, it, of uh, going for the full clear style of Abyss. But it is uh, definitely worth it, especially if you can afford it. Like sometimes you don't want to be stupid and just dogmatically go for every single uh, cash because then uh, you know you don't want to lose your ship. And it doesn't matter if you earn a little bit of extra money if you lose your ship, obviously. So you have to also use your brain a little bit. But most of the time I'm able to get all the caches and it does definitely give a lot of extra isk. Just because of the way, like you can, you saw there, I got like 11, 10 million from that one cache over there. So it really is worth it to just grab them like that. And it hardly takes any extra time either. I'll go towards this by adaptive cache over here. Yes, good. And something is that when it comes to the, uh, the mobile track unit as well, it really... Uh, like this this heavy missile really just helps you can, you can just pop them and it's a, say for example there was i don't know an extraction node over here then i would just pop it with this heavy missile and then i would uh, i wouldn't really have to think about it if i had only ra rapid light missiles then it would uh, it would you know take a little bit longer time to either get my drone which is wasted dps or have to get closer to use my rapid light missile to take it out that's one very good use of the heavy missile and also like i was thinking okay i'm missing out on a little bit of dps maybe potentially a little bit of burst dps from the heavy missile launcher because you know i said before that uh, the overall dps over time with the heavy missile launcher it is uh, the same as having like a full rapid light at the, uh, in the high slots but over time uh, but the burst dps is higher with having rapid lights and if you factor that into when you're going and like you know, reloading between each side, that reload time is factored in even less. I was thinking, okay, maybe I'm missing out a tiny bit DPS. And I was thinking, okay, I'm missing out also a bit DPS against small stuff because this heavy missile launcher is not going to do anything towards the uh, frigates. But the thing is, when it comes to frigates, it never really is a case of DPS being the issue. Like, there you go down really quickly. What usually is the problem with time is that like, cruisers and battleships. So that's where the heavy missile launcher will always come into play. It'll always be doing damage. So that's good in that regard. And then another benefit is that you do have the really good range. So you will, like, we're talking very minute DPS right here, but it will be doing slightly, like, DPS slightly earlier than the rapid light because of the 66 kilometer range on this thing. And we did this site very quickly in under what is this like under 13 minutes 12 minutes something like that so that's really good right there really good time indeed and we didn't have particularly like uh like fast waves either I mean, we had bethnic abyssal overmine pretty uh pretty f slow wave we completed it pretty quickly this gila is very very strong very very strong indeed so there we go my new gila right here and we didn't get a um, crazy loot or, or loot did we get no we got really crap loot actually what is it 62 million from a t6 exotic and the filament price is like 20 million so overall like 40 million profit when you're flying a ship that's as expensive as this one i wouldn't say that's particularly good but i have been getting many better runs as well this is just a particularly unlucky way um, like spawns or run we've done right here so i said that's my new gila my new farming gila the latest and greatest version of my gila with optimized and getting the the good loot and doing these sites as quickly as possible hope you guys enjoyed this video right here if you did please leave a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later